just noticed something weird. Have a look at all these all these clams. Thousands of them. All just washed up. I don't know what happened. No idea. They look to be empty. I don't see any that have still have the animal inside. Yeah, that's weird. There's going to be some happy seagulls around. And there's a really nice concretion in the middle of it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see right over there. So I'm wondering, is it worth getting my shoes wet? To see what's inside that concretion. And of course the answer is yes, so <laughs> let's go look. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything. Let's pop it back in there. It's got a few creatures living on it. Oh well. Let's carry on with the walk. I'll let you know if I find anything. I don't know if I will over here. But I mean, where there's rocks or sedimentary rocks, there might be fossils. I found a crab <laughs> before he picked it up but this is one over here this is how it was lying it was actually under the frock I just saw that little bit of the claw sticking out yeah that's a that's a cool crab it's in one of those really hard concretions that are so difficult to work they don't want to separate from the rock or the crab doesn't yeah it's a it's a nice crab fossil it's always fun finding them See, there are the legs, there's the claw, and there's the other claw. Awesome! <laughs> Found something, that's cool. I think this is going to be a bit of a heartbreaker. I can just see it under that rock over there. A beautiful crab, but I've got a feeling that big claw is missing. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's such a cool crab. It's missing the big claw. Actually, no, it's a small claw. That's so cool. Such a soft concretion. I don't think it's been through many tides. The tides would have just messed it up. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice crab. It's a shame about that claw. I was hoping it would be down here somewhere. So I don't think it's an awful, awfully old concretion. No, I don't see it. Oh, that's a shame. Still a cool crab. Any day you find a crab like this is just a, a really good day. I think I've just found the smallest crab I've ever found. There's a claw sticking out there. And there are the tiny, tiny legs. Tiny baby crab. <laughs> That's a cute little one. I wonder if it's a Timidocarcinus or some other species. Yeah, that's real cool. <laughs> it's turned into quite a, a good day of fossil hunting. I always like having a look at the, the siltstone when there's no cliff overhead. Because I feel a lot safer. And this one's quite cool because there's some Torito wood just in the siltstone over here. You can see that was a branch or something that's been eaten away by shipworms. It starts over here, then it carries on over there. It's pretty cool. So 
This is the seabed from a few million years ago. I think around about 12 million years ago. 10 to 12 million years ago. So this branch somehow washed down here. Got eaten by some shipworm. And millions of years later I found it. Another thing I've just noticed, I think there's some random crab footprints on some of these rocks. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that. Well, there's some kind of footprint on there. It's wet. And it carries on over there. <laughs> so I think there's just crabs all over the place for having a look around. You can see there. They're evaporating, so it can't be that old. There's some more over there. <laughs> There's a piece of flabellum, coral. That one over there. I really love finding these scallop shells. That's a beautiful one. <laughs> they really are cool to find. I don't think I've ever seen a sand dollar this big. <laughs> Really, really big. Shame it's broken. That's yeah, a really big one. That's about double the size of the ones I normally see. Yeah, something's been munching away at it, so it's, it's incomplete over there. It's not a fossil, it's still got its little hairs on it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. had some rain and you can see the cliffs eroding over here so there should be some fresh fossils I actually see a tusk shell just sticking out of this one piece let's have a quick look look at that beautiful tusk shell but that's not what we're after today I'm going to head to a section where people have said they found some megalodon teeth over the years and if you've been following my videos for a while you know I've never found a complete megalodon tooth or even a semi-complete one. I found a little fragment or two. This is quite a good shape over here. Let's see what it is, if it is anything. It's only half a completion though. A quarter. Yeah, nothing in that one. But there's another one. Maybe this one will have something in it. Ah, another half. <laughs> nothing in that one either. So not all concretions have fossils in them. These are both empty. I don't know what they would have formed around, but yeah, maybe just a piece of mud. Something that just decomposed completely. This one's got a half a crab in it. That's the body over there. And those are the legs. Not much left of it, unfortunately. Here's a very nice example of a flabellum, a solitary coral. It's still in the clay. There it is. There's another one just poking up just above it, right over there. Uh, there. These flabellum are very common in this area and they are. Sorry, I got distracted by a crab that's not in a concretion. 
there's this outside of a concretion. We'll go have a look at it after this. These flabellum, they, they deep water coral and they don't grow in a colony, they grow by themselves. There's a little crab, um, little crab, little shell sticking out. But have a look at this one. Yes, that crab that distracted me. <laughs> Look at it. It's pretty far gone, but yeah, that crab is still inside the cliff there. You can see there's a claw over there and there. And it's not in a concretion, which is quite strange. I haven't found a megalodon tooth. <laughs> I've just been looking in the same area, but here's another crab that's just inside the salt stone. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's the claw over there, and that's the top. Those are the legs that have been worn away. Huh. It's a cool little spot. I don't normally have a close look over here. Here are the finds from today on my beautiful petrified wood table. This is that tiny crab. You can see how small it is compared to the other ones. I think that's a, a claw sticking out over there. Let me zoom in a bit. Yeah, that looks like a claw. And then on this side we've got some legs. Very tiny one. And this one's... <laughs> Missing that claw, unfortunately, but quite a nice crab. It's such a soft concretion, it should be pretty easy to prep, although it looks like it's sticky. I don't see very good separation over there. It's where the crabs in this one area often aren't fully in the concretion, as opposed to this one. This is one of the hard types of concretion. I've never tried to prep one, they're so hard compared to the other ones. Near the legs, one, two, three. A few more on that side. That'll be a very complete crab inside there. Now I was going to share this with you. <laughs> it's a piece of petrified wood from our local river. Found that um, after the fossil hunt. Just stopped and had a quick look. But it's so beautiful. I've never found one that's so fully. Agatized? I don't know if it's properly agatized, but look at those growth rings there. Normally they're quite white, normally they're this color. That's what they normally look like with a few little bits of, you know, uh, the agatized sections, and this one's just gone fully, fully agatized. Not sure if it's agatized though, but beautiful piece. It's probably my favorite one from that river. Thanks so much for joining me on that hunt. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm stoked we found three crabs. Any day that you find that number of crabs, it's just a really good fossil hunt. Stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next hunt.